It has been nine years since Superstorm Sandy came ashore and devastated our area. CBS 2's Dick Brennan with a look back and a look forward on what can be done to make the area safer. A nine-foot storm surge pushed millions of gallons of seawater into the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, flooding it from floor to ceiling. More than 100 homes in Breezy Point burned to the ground when floodwaters came into contact with electrical wiring, literally sparking a horrific chain reaction. Flooding left subways inoperable and turned city streets into raging rivers. It's estimated that Sandy inflicted about $19 billion worth of damage in New York City alone, but it's the human toll that exemplified the depth of loss and despair. <laughs> it was a collective experience. I came back yesterday morning to this. But each story is so deeply personal. I've lost everything. Single mom lost everything. Staten Island Borough President James Otto was a member of the city council there when Sandy struck. It reminded you of images you see on the news, on your television, of the Midwest after a tornado. The storm claimed 43 lives overall in the city, 24 of them on Staten Island. Homes were swept from foundations. Block after block, people tried to reckon with the total loss of life they once knew. Graduation, diplomas, my room. Nearly 70,000 residences were damaged throughout New York. The Rockaways suffered Sandy's wrath with the one-two punch of the storm's destruction and then the fire that leveled six square blocks. Queens DA Melinda Katz was borough president at the time. Through the darkness, she still saw a glimmer of hope. I will tell you that I have rarely seen communities stand together so strong after such a tragedy like this. Long Islanders dug out after being inundated with tons of sand. In Westchester, unspeakable tragedy as a tree fell on a house, killing two young boys. You can't pre really prepare for this. And I was there along with Dr. John LaPook of CBS News for a delicate operation at NYU Langone in Manhattan to safely evacuate some 300 patients after floodwaters destroyed electrical systems. Dr. LaPoo, after nine years, just how surreal was that night? I mean, the word miracle is overused. We all know that. That was a miracle. Dr. LaPoo aided in the evacuation, including babies from the neonatal unit. I remember bringing one baby down all of those steps and it was like on a sled. It was almost like a mountain climbing type of apparatus where it was so steep and you had to make sure that that the sled didn't go flying down, and we're just trying to maneuver our way down the staircase. FEMA had some assets in place in advance of the storm, but no one was prepared for the scope of what hit. I'm here today, and I'm looking for some help. The challenge is, is, is not what you know, but what you don't know, and being able to find that out and find that out quickly so you can address it. I think we are getting better at it. I think we're using a lot of technology. Experts agree it comes down to people knowing these storms are now probable, having the proper insurance, and most importantly, heeding warnings to hopefully avoid potential disaster. You're cold? Yeah. You're tired? Yeah. I see you have a Superman shirt on. You got to stay strong, okay? Stay strong. Now, obviously, being able to elevate structures and build away from the water will be top priorities, along with the building of seawalls and key areas. But the problem, Christine Maurice, is what we've seen recently. You know, the storms aren't the same. They hit in different spots, and you don't know when they're coming next. The 100-year storm that comes five years later. Right. The technology exists to build those seawalls, but the will, the political will, and the money, right? The money. That's right. the key word there. Right. The money. The political will might come if you had the money. We'll see. And those changes in regards to climate change and global warning, warming, excuse me, it's all of those issues. That we yeah, look at Ida. We had places that had never been struck before and that were hit. People we talked to were like, what? This has never happened to me ever. It changes. We've got to move with the changes. But if you don't know where to move, it gets a little difficult. Yeah, that was a quick nine years, by it the sure way. Was. Yeah, just those like images that. again. And I just remember that when it was coming through, it was um, overnight. So when we were right. on the air, it was hard to see anything that was going on. Right. And then the following morning, at you know sunrise to look at the devastation it was shocking still, still water shocking. coming around yeah. you right. in lower manhattan around your feet that's when it was like this is a movie but it wasn't yeah, yeah. All, right, all right dick thank you thank you